my goodness. The Cowboys lose the football and it's a 2 nothing lead for Washington as the Bills push a field goal down the rest. Alright, Sean McDermott staying positive, but a missed opportunity there for the Bills. We'll check back at MetLife Stadium. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. What you see here is my brand new Oster Extra Large Digital Air Fryer. Now this is a 5 quart, it's 1700 watts, and it's boasting this diamond force uh, coating. I don't know what that means, but we're going to find that out. Now I'm hoping, th I this, looks, this air fryer looks deep, but I hope it's wide as well. But let's open it up. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the basket. I did take all the wrappings off so we can easily see what we're working with. So this is what I did fair. This is deep, but not as wide. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a second. But anyway, you have your guard here, so you just push it up. And that's the button to release. Push up, it comes right on out looks like, a, I don't know what type of finish this is, but it looks nice. Looks like it will last. Got your little bump here. Nothing on the other side. Okay. So this bump is so that the basket doesn't touch the bottom and scratch it. But, most, most importantly, this is this diamond material. It does feel, it does feel like it will last the test of time, but only time will tell, right? Because I've never had anything with this coating before. But let's look at this. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's put it back in. No problem. Okay. So what I wanted to show you before, so this is my Kasori 5 quart basket. You see how it looks? And then my Oster basket fits inside the Kasori basket. So that tells you right then and there that this is not as wide. Now this is, you can, oh, can you see? Yeah, you can, you can see it's deeper. You can see that. But, I mean, my Kasori basket is wide enough to do a whole chicken, so I don't, I don't need it to be any deeper. Um, I need I need my oyster to be wider. Now I'm sure you can get a whole chicken in there, and you can probably fit bigger. Like maybe um, my kasori could probably do like you know, I don't know five pounds. Maybe this can do I don't know six seven pounds because it's deeper. But I just prefer wider. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Might not be a deal breaker for um, any of you, but I at least wanted to make you aware. That other five square, uh, five quart square baskets are wider, and and this is the problem that I had with the Ninja standalone air fryer. It's deep, but not wide. We need wide and deep. That's that's what we need. All right, but anyway, still, we're still gonna. Um, well, then by the way, that's the end of my unboxing. We're just gonna go ahead and cook something right now, because I still believe this machine should cook. It's seventeen hundred watts, so it should cook just like anything else. But not to mention, this is $99. My Kasori is $129. So it is um, a little cheaper. So that's a great value right there. Okay, guys, this is what the inside of the air fryer looks like. This is the bottom. I have it laying down so you can see it. And then, so this is the top. You got your coil and the fan above it, just like a traditional air fryer. Nothing different there. I just wanted to show you. Cord's a little longer than usual, so that's cool. Okay. So let's just take a look around it. I can tell you right now this is a fingerprint magnet, but that's that's okay. Right. Nothing much to see here. That's the back. No. And that's the other side. Now unfortunately it does come with this small manual. This is small. I know we're on camera and you can't really tell. This looks like this can fit in my back pocket. I'm I'm not lying. So, obviously there's not going to be any recipes in here. It's just going to be like do's and don'ts. You know, you can 
And we're going to read if we can put this in the dishwasher, by the way. I'm pretty sure we can, but there's not going to be any recipes in here. I can guarantee you that. But that's why I have my air fryer group. You can, you're more than welcome to join there and you'll get more recipes than you'll know what to do with. Trust me. All right, guys. So I plugged it in. So you have the little on, I mean, the power button or symbol right there. So you press it to turn it on. And so this has, I think, eight presets. So let's go over them. And I'm assuming I hit this. All right, so this is fries. That's bacon. That's fish. That's shrimp. That's chicken. That's steak. This is baked goods. And that's dehydrate. And that's all the presets that we have. Oh, and it also has a delay timer up here. If you press this, you can do you can have it um, delayed to turn on up to 24 hours. So, and then you'll see this red light uh, that indicates that there's a timer on. So that that's pretty cool, but I don't think I'll ever use that. Now, one thing I want to show you: um, this doesn't automatically turn off. So let's just say we're going to turn it on now right and first of all I want to see if this turns off when I open it, it yes to which it does that's perfect alright but what I want to show you is when I hit power it doesn't show off right it doesn't shut off right away it's gonna power down I guess for yeah I don't know five to ten seconds let's see but I can open it and it will cl and it will turn off once I put it back in for sure so I just wanted to sh let you know that. But let's see how, how long it takes to power off. Yeah, so that was about 10 seconds. But let me show you what I'm talking about too. So I'm going to turn it back on and then I'm going to turn it off. But see, once I do that and close it back, it's off. And by the way, this is your um, temperature and this is your time. So you press either one and then you got your plus and minus to go up and down on those. One thing I didn't show you is that when you have it on, I can change the temp. So it's at 400, I can make it go lower. You can change the time as well, make it go higher. I didn't show you that. My unboxing is over. I got these Tyson, uh, what is it, any Tizers wings. I got barbecue. And then I have um, hot wings, buffalo wings. So we're just going to dump both of them in there and get them cooking. I've never made these before. I heard they're pretty good from Frozen, so we're going to try them out today. These bags are a little bit over one pound. They do have a family size one, but that has been a little too much. I'm trying to mix them up. about 16 pieces in there so that that's a fair amount so let's get and remember these are from frozen so let's let's get them in there and by the way guys let's do an open and close check I kind of got a slam but I think over time that will change because you know I just got it today okay all right so let's do this This doesn't look like a preset here, so I'll just put my own. So time, well, temperature, I want 400. First of all, it goes to 400. And time, I want to do, how, well, first of all, how, how much time do we have? Let's see. Should go up to 60. Yep, okay, and it freezes there, okay. So we're going to do like 20, I'm going to do like 24 minutes just to be sure. Probably won't need as much, but... That's what I'm gonna do. So let's go. We'll check it. We'll check it at 12 minutes. See how loud it is. Let's see. Pretty quiet compared to other air fryers that I've owned. Okay. All right. 12 minutes has passed. So let's see what we're working. On. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm going to um, flip these and well, I could just give them a toss, but I'll just manually flip them because it's looking good. And we'll get them back in there. All right, let's get it back in. All right, we're gonna see what it sounds like when it, when it, um, when time runs out. The time is um, out now. It's saying off, so it's powering down like we saw before. So that takes about 10 seconds. So we'll hear the beep and stuff, and see how that sounds. There we go. All right, we've heard that before. All right, guys, we're looking good. So this is a full 24 minutes from frozen. All right, this is what we're looking like afterwards. So I'm just going to let this soak, guys. Out to the viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys, you saw the paper towel go up. Now it's time to eat. Let's, let's have this pep. We got some ranch in the house, guys. Yeah, have a bite of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's take a look at the wing. Perfectly cooked. Dip it in some rancho. You first. You got it? Mmm. This must be the honey one. It's good. Very good. Let's try it without it. You got it? Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. See that? Let's get this. You got it? Mm. Very good. This is very, very good. I think this is still honey. So we'll, we'll try it again without. Mm. Let's try this. This must be the hot one. Let's dip that in ranch. You first. I like the hot wings better. The honey's good, but the hot wings is legit. One of the Tysons. Can't lose with either one of them. Hot wings have a little bit of a bite at the end. I taste it. Let's taste it without the ranch. Mmm. very good but I will say with this this product it is good to dip it into something all right guys some of you want a piece of celery so we're gonna give that to you with some ranch you first you got it mm. all right we're gonna have some carrots you first One more hot wing for you guys, since that is my favorite of the two. Mm. Perfect with ranch. This would be amazing with blue cheese, I'm sure. Anywho, guys, cleaning this is a breeze. 
Um, but then again, it's not any easier than cleaning any other of the newer air fryers that I've gotten uh, in 2019 and 2020, like the Instant Vortex, the Power XL, so forth. My Kasori. By the way, only this part is dishwasher safe. This is the only piece of this machine you can put in the dishwasher. You could probably get away with putting the outer basket, this part, in the dishwasher, but it might, it probably would cause chipping or some type of uh, damage to the finish uh, eventually, I'm thinking. But the manual did say just this part, the inner basket, for dishwasher. Everything else can go in the sink, meaning this part. So like I said before, you, for 99 bucks you can get this on Amazon, and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and also so you can, you know, look, look into it more, uh, read up on it, look at the reviews and whatnot, or you could just walk into your target in your area and pick it up for $99, which, whichever one works. Um, but like I said, this is, this is a good deal for the money. Is it the best five quart air fryer that I've worked with? Um, no, but I, I'd put it in my top five. I'd say out of five, it'd be the fifth. Um, very quiet, like I said, so that's good. And it cooks as it should. So it does what it's supposed to do. So I hope this review was helpful to you guys. Um, before I go, I'm going to leave a link to my air fryer group. Um, we have over 63,000 members in there. And we'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer, whether you have this air fryer or whatever air fryer you have, whether it be a Kasori, Instant Vortex, a Ninja Foodie. Um, whatever you got. We'd love to see what you're making or do a search and get recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Dove. But that's all I got. Say it like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Dove.